there. No, great. Sorry. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to the Operations Committee meeting for uh, Tuesday, November the 14th, 10 a.m. Uh, I'll call this meeting to order. Uh, any declaration of pecuniary interest, Mayor Hand? None known. Okay, we have zero delegations, so there'll be nobody speaking to us this morning. The prior meeting minutes were approved at council and they're just being circulated for information purposes. Any questions or comments on those? No. Okay, thank you. Uh, business arising and ongoing tasks will do. So Jim, can you walk us through the ongoing tasks? So yeah, I can uh, so I go through them one by one. Yeah, please. Okay. Uh, operations are in blue. Yep. Um, so the first one was about um, the I've sent an email out to the daycare and uh, the church group to look into the possibility of the daycare renting parking spaces from the church group. I sent, I got an email back from the daycare saying they were going to reach out to them. I sent another email to her like early last week and asked if there had been any communication and I have not heard back from her. Okay. So that's where that one stands. Um, review the arena. Uh, usage on stat holidays. There's a report in the committee on that one. Um, paradigm report has been sent to the MP, the MPP, sorry. And then I've also, I reached out to uh, Jason Cole at the county to get an email address for the appropriate person to send it to at the MTO. Okay. Um, and then on completed items, um, we've kind of the signage we've taken off the off the list because we've had the um, portable washroom installed for the season. So that was installed, I believe, the 30th of October, give or take a day. Um, and then the planning one for the daycare was just an item that uh, was still on the list from prior. It's been dealt with. And then the portable washrooms are dealt with. Okay, so the um, can we add to this the um, the you point comment. Edward signs? Yes, I think it's on here. Actually, I missed a, somehow I missed a few at the top. Yeah, so, heck, I was I was all lost there. For yeah, while. sorry. The mesh presentation. Um, Jay and Steve and Mike and Shelley have talked about it. I think Jay is pretty much spearheading it, and they're hoping to get a presentation from the actual provider on maybe at the meeting on the 28th, but that's not 100% confirmed yet, but Jay is kind of leading the charge on that one to work with okay. the mesh provider. Um, I reached out to someone, um, the gentleman I reached with, I'm friends with his wife on Facebook, so I reached out to him that way. Um, haven't heard back from him yet. She responded to my message, but uh, hoping to hear from them. Um, the truck issue is just ongoing. Um, grants with the service club, nothing's been done there. And what was that about the service club? That uh, upgrade oh, that the for the Senate, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. for Veterans Park, yeah. yeah. And then, um, okay, there's three are there. There's some in green, the green ones are ones that are complete, okay, yep. Yeah. So, I don't see the um. And Edward signs. That's where you Okay, so that, that, yeah, I thought I put that somewhere. Um, so I talked to him like last Wednesday or Thursday, and he's got the one at Veterans Park is pretty much ready to be put up, and the one at the corner of it is done now, and then the one at the corner of Front and Exmouth. He's hoping to have it up. He said by the end of this week, he was hoping to have them up. And the posts are still there, right? For that one, no. Putting new posts in. Oh, okay, good. Putting the six by six posts. Oh, nice, nice. Well, we are. Yeah, yeah. We're digging holes. Okay. He's gonna hold the level up to them. Okay. Whatever. And then the, the only one that would be outstanding at that point would be Venetian. Yes. And, and it's it's the one missing the longest, but um, it is what it is. So, okay. Yeah. And then when he gets these done, he's gonna take. A couple more, right? Or another one? Yeah, I have to look back and see what's approved in the budget. I think the only one left would be the great big one up at Michigan. It'd be nice if when he takes that one, we could put something temporary there, even like a canvas or a vinyl sign that says, welcome to Point Edward, because his turnaround time is so long, right? And so I'm thinking... Oh, good. So 
is that one up that yeah maybe oh, can... yeah he wouldn't need to take it down that would if, be a... if he's just he may be just retouching that one yeah that one's probably in the best shape of all yeah it doesn't yeah faded a little bit, yeah but... yeah if he is that would be great or if he's not if we can just have something there that just to fill the hole for because i say some of these are taking upwards of a year right so yeah yeah okay anything else for uh any tasks that you know of mayor hand we're good no, my my other one is under new business. Okay, so thank I you. Bring up. Yep. No issues or correspondence, health and safety. So we have the arena health and safety report to start. And uh yep. um, just with the map. Yeah, and it says it's been addressed, so it's not an issue. Are we are are we ordering a new logoed one, or are we going to stay plain Jane? It was it was ordered a long time ago. Oh, was it? Because okay. I talked to the man when he was here. That was months ago, and then I I talked to him the last time he was in because I wanted to buy one. So I know it's months. I don't know what the delay is. I'd have to ask Shelley, but they've been working on that for months. Okay. Do you, have you heard anything, Derek? No, I heard that they had to rewrite it. I, I know you're talking about that out of the order, but I don't think it ever got orders from the guy that does this chain in the home. Yeah. So I think this last time it actually did get orders. Okay. All right, in public works, there's nothing in that report. So thank you for everyone working safely and keeping it. Here is good. Under new business, we have the arena monthly report for uh, the month of October. Morning, everyone. Good morning, Derek. It's the monthly report for the arena for October. Um, month started out with uh, the overhaul of compressor number one. This was a repair that was approved at the previous council meeting. Um, it was also recommended that we overhaul compressor number two soon uh, based on the oil and the site glass. Um, this may be a capital item for 2024. Um, on October 2nd, we hosted the Sarnia Sting Junior A Hockey Club for a practice in community skate. The event was very, very well attended and deemed very successful by all involved. A special thank you to Sarnia Sting head coach Alan Latang for help facilitate this event. Um, the other big item for the month was the roof was completed uh, on October 5th. Um, Black and McDonald were back in several times for a leaky oil filter that they installed on compressor number one. Uh, the issue has been rectified now after many trips. <laughs> um, on October 12th, the uh, Bullock and Sons informed us that we would not be charged any additional fees for the scaffolding as they made the scheduled date for completion of the roofing project. Um, Ainsworth Technical in on October 16th for air codes on the new hot water system boilers. After consulting with the manufacturer of the boilers, it was determined that one of the boilers needed a new circuit board. This was to be supplied and installed by the manufacturer under warranty later. The air codes had no effect on the supply of hot water. Uh, Blue Water Plumbing's refurbished all our toilets in the main washrooms. Skyway eventually made their way in to remove all the scaffolding and it was completed on October 23rd. Tormont was in for an alarm on the generator. It was caused by a low coolant temperature alarm, which was a faulty block heater. The new block heater was installed and alarm cleared. Walding Doors has replaced the circuit board on the motor of the Olympia Room garage door. This was an outstanding issue from previous report. The circuit board, the circuit boards were defective from the manufactured and covered under warranty. <clears throat> Uh, we had an incident on October 22nd where a player from the original six league deliberately broke a piece of railing glass at the north end of the arena. The player was identified and the league has agreed to pay for the piece of glass. Uh, the individual was very apologetic after the incident. Uh, a and W locksmith in to rekey the lock cylinder on the snack bar door and to repair the door at the north exit of the arena. Uh, Bullock and Sons installed the downspouts on the on the roof on October 25th. Um, 
Uh, on October 26th, we had our first piece of rink glass broken in quite some time. A new piece has been installed and three new pieces of glass have been ordered. Uh, Black McDonald has completed the installation of the new ammonia detector alarm system. This was a 2023 capital budget item. The new system will keep us up to date with compliance under the B52 mechanical refrigeration code, part of the engineer operating engineers regulations. Work management, three full-time employees, one seasonal, no specific training uh, for the month of October. Facility activity, we were on prime time, we were 86% booked on available ice and 60% on non-prime time. Uh, factors that were affecting the numbers, uh, Sunday, October 8th and Monday, October 9th, Thanksgiving, lots of returned cancel ice. Uh, the last of our regular ice clients started on October 10th, which included the Point Edward Skating Club. And point over minor hockey has started road games, resulting in some prime time ice being returned. Sarnia minor hockey, House League Select has been using ice regularly on Saturdays when available. There's two teams taking up the returned ice. Interior regular maintenance and cleaning daily. Uh, we also have that piece of glass broken. Exterior, general maintenance around the building. Obviously, the roofing project is complete. Community hall, Optimus continue to manage the community hall. They have put a request in for a new exterior door at the north end of the kitchen. I don't know if this would be a 2024 capital item. Concession sand, uh, Red & Co. at the rink continue to operate snack bar. Snack bar door has been rekeyed and temporary bolts installed on the roll-up doors as locking devices. Inspections, we've had fire extinguishers, AED, generator, jute seas in to test the condenser water and calibrate, calibrate the chemical uh, regulator, working in for their monthly inspection. In venue advertising, Starlight Casino advertising mural has been delivered to the arena and is scheduled to be installed on November 16th. Uh, we have the public, one of the public works trucks at the arena. Uh, customer satisfaction, uh, received a lot of positive comments from returning user groups. Lots of positive comments and feedbacks on the Serenity Sting practice and community skate. Overall, this was a very successful event and hopefully we can do it again soon. Health and safety, monthly SOPs as assigned by health and safety coordinator completed. Security, Red & Co. at the rink was broken into on October 3rd in the late afternoon. The individual placed a piece of tape over the security camera and then proceeded to pry open the roll up counter doors. The individual made off with the snack bar key and iPod cash and food items. The individual was later identified by Sarnia police from the camera footage prior to be prior to placing the piece of tape on the camera lens. Capital budget, the roofing project is completed. The ammonia detection system is completed and conversations have begun on 2024 budget items. Closing comments, October was a very busy month at the arena, both on and off the ice. Off ice, we saw the completion of two capital projects. The roofing project was completed on October 25th and the ammonia detection alarm system completed on October 27th. We've also had lots of equipment maintenance, repairs, inspections completed as well. On the ice, we welcome back the Point Edward Skating Club along with the last of our regular user groups. We also had the privilege of hosting the Serenia Sting for a practicing community skate. Looking ahead to November, the ice schedule is very busy the entire month. We will continue to try and sell any unused or returned ice. We will also try to accommodate as many people as we can for ice requests over the holiday season. We currently have less than 10 hours available over the two-week school shutdown. We will also continue to work towards completing all outstanding repairs, maintenance before year end. If you have any questions or concerns, we'd be glad to assist. Mayor Hand, any questions? Yes. Um... Get ready, Derek. No, not bad. <laughs> so, as far as this break in, do we think that uh, all of the issues have been addressed to prevent that from happening again? And the other question I had related to that, I don't know if you have an answer to it. I'd heard before that they were able to identify the person by the Sarnia police, but so what? Yeah, that was. So, were they charged or? But yeah, we never they don't tell us that. Yeah, that's the last I heard. And I heard that that the Sarnia identified that's from all an I heard. OPP officer. Like right. I was on a walk with Carol and he stopped me. Hey, we yeah. identified the guy. I'm like, oh cool. So I just like so that person knows how they got in. Yeah, they can't get in now. We can't get in. We rectified that with the bolts. Because the ways when we had A and W in there, yeah, we said was, there's no real 
way to put a lock on there. His suggestion was to drill through the frame of the track and into the, the actual door and just put a bolt in there and then yeah. you, you can't lift it or move it. So we did that on both doors. Okay. Um, my next question is regard to um, skate during the school holidays. I think that in the past, the, the village has provided I think an it, open skate. I don't know, the mayor's fund, yes. Yes. So I just wanted to, is that booked or? Uh, no, because the, the way Christmas falls, a lot of our leagues didn't cancel during the days. Okay. So ice is at a premium. I can look, see if I can find something. But all our leagues maintain their ice through the whole holidays. Okay. So, so just keep it in your mind that okay. if you see like. Two slots or hour and a half. Okay. Yeah. Um, okay. And then we can advertise it. So as long as we have enough time to to know that we're getting it and then we can advertise it okay. with a free skate. Yep, I can look. Then I'll pay for it at the that account as a traditional skate. I think I had one, so one more. Oh, I know. My other question was um, around this individual that did this damage. So um, he was apologetic. I'm not sure that's enough. He's paying for it. So well, it said the league's paying for it. Do, so do I, I inquired to the league. The okay. league's taking care of it. Okay. If they're going to the team, the team's going to go to the individual. I just didn't want to. Like I know it's going to be covered. You know what I mean? I just don't feel like. Yeah, he felt bad. Well, it's caused. I think it was the heat of the moment, and then he tried to help clean up. Okay. Like he... So they're, they're, the onus is on them then yeah. to address it, and he will pay for it. Okay. And the other question I had was around um, booked hours at eighty six percent. How does he, how do you think that lines up to previous years? Right on. Well, right about the same. Yeah. Okay. Those were my questions. Okay. Thank, thank you for your hand. Um. <clears throat> Just a more minor more comments. One is the camera system, the new enhanced and improved camera system paid for itself really quickly in being able to identify the person that did this. And hopefully word gets out amongst that community that this community is not a place to come uh, try and do a break in because whether he was charged or not, but he was identified and police would have followed up. So at least he knows we know who's doing this stuff. And it's a shame that it was done midday like that. Like just, it's... Yeah. Yeah. And on the video, you can see people in the arena, they knew he was sketchy. You can see there's a man that keeps walking in and out, watching him and all this stuff. So, and it's a, it's a shame he didn't report it to arena staff or somebody, right? Sure. But then people don't want to get involved and don't right. want to. So, yeah. and the other one, I'm glad you identified the glass break because I was there the other day trying to figure out how that glass got broke from a, like a wild, it must have been a wild puck shot. I said, <laughs> it wasn't, stick. it was a stick. Okay. All right. Thank you, Derek. I, I have another yep. uh, skate patrol. Individual. Yeah, somebody texted me. I can't remember their name. Yeah, it'd be uh, Olson, his last name. Okay. I th I will follow up on that. I th okay. thought I replied to him and didn't hear back, but I... I okay, I, I think that this, the kid's name is Philippe Olson. But... Okay. So yeah. public skating has started? Oh, yeah. It was busy on Sunday. No incidents, but just it's busy. Yeah. Your head's on a swivel. And we didn't have a patrol on the Sunday. No, the week before I worked the previous or two weeks before that I worked the Sunday too, and Paul Burgess was out and he kind of took a lead on it. Just you know, talked to a couple individuals, mostly kids. Mm -hmm. Just someone told me a parent showed up once wearing one of those jackets, just skating, and everybody was really good because yeah, he thought was, he was he thought he was the the patrol guy. It was just some parent with his kids. Yeah, that's true. So. Yeah. yeah, we should just yeah. Make, hang those coats up and say, if you want to wear a coat while you skate, it's on us. <laughs> okay. Thank you, Derek. Public Works. He is going to do rock, paper, scissors or? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> you read the class of closing comments. This is all Mr. Hustle. All right. Well, thank you. And good morning, Mike. Good morning. Yes. Good morning. Public Works Committee report for the month ending October of the 3 1 23. <clears throat> um, work management, still four full time staff. Employee training, book seven online 
day for Steve, Derek, and Corey and myself. I did it the month previous. Uh, operations building, interior, the deluge shower supply lines were upgraded by Ainsworth as per the Health and Safety Committee. Uh, inspections on the interior of the building, Orkin monthly pest inspections. Roads, sidewalks, parks, parking lots, etc. The bi-weekly road reports continue and the road diet bollards and signage were removed slightly early due to damage. Parks and public spaces, new bench and plaque installed at the end of Monk Street on the path. Splash pad washrooms were winterized by Ainsworth. ABC winterized the splash pad. John Miller winterized the sprinkler systems. The heaters are now on at Waterfront Park washrooms in the back room, planning to close and winterize by the end of October. Changed and tested some pathway lights, porta potty to the Waterfront Park for winter use, and salt bins were distributed for in the usual areas. Inspections, audits, and reports. We did some street sign and road identification sign inspections for re reflectivity. And I believe we've ordered or plan to order some new road signs for those order. Uh, Steve and I met with Tina for third quarter county billing. Under vehicles, uh, two, two pickup trucks and the one ton, both cat loaders were in for yearly safeties and service. Cat loader number eight was taken to battlefield for a break and head gasket repairs. It has a hint. Uh, Kubota RTV was in for service. Uh, Broadway service was in for e-testing on the CBOR vehicles. Viking Sives was in for a demo and some troubleshooting on the new plow blade. All works good. Uh, dump trailer was to hardcore for a safety. Other motorized vehicle equipment and tools. Uh, we placed temperature sensors on one of the walker mowers. Changed oil filter on the little wonder leaf vac. Replaced two flashing lights on the Kubota mowers and installed uh, the salters uh, on the small tractor and the Kubota RTV. Uh, community feedback. We met with Gary Cap and CAO Burns to discuss the upcoming Veterans Day ceremony. And looking ahead, winter preparations continue. We have begun our rotating 4 a.m. shift as well as winter patrolling on our mesh app. We anticipate an abundance of leaf bags on our compost days in November, and we will begin our own leaf only diet for park cleanup. Stay tuned for cooler temperatures and Movember. Closing comments <clears throat> Pumpkins. Post Halloween pumpkin abandonment is real. As one of several pumpkin advocates working in the village, we wear our pumpkin pride on our sleeves and believe this is something people should educate themselves with. These pumpkins once were real living things and we need to be treated with respect. Should we propose a pumpkin disposal area in the village? The discarded gourds could probably properly be interred and perhaps their seeds would flourish and, and in the fall provide some of us with a small victory as the great pumpkin arises to sip another cup of spiced latte. But that's just peanuts for some. Just a little something to chew on. Thank you. Could I write that? Like no, you could not have kept a straight face either. So <laughs> good delegation on your part, I was leaving. Your hand? So did, did I break a rule? I put my pumpkins on the boulevard today. You did not. That's okay. Other times I've taken them to the animal farm. Yes. But then they, place, if they're still solid. but they got overloaded. Yeah, you got um, I have a couple of new things, so I'll wait. Okay. Until a couple um, of things I wanted to ask about. So I just have two quick ones. Uh, is the street sweeper booked, or do you have a it plan? Booked, yeah, I'm just waiting for those to finish. Yeah, up. So yeah, yeah. I have been in touch with them. But... I'm waiting for my my I have a mulberry tree that. They drop all one night, and it's the night that it's snowing and raining. It yeah. just they hang there. So. I mean, it, it's, this is always a challenge to try and coordinate if it's everything snowy. And, yeah, yeah. And just, you know, there's so many things still to follow. Right? But but but, but but when you call him, he like it's not he's, he's not going to be. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Usually, 
Do you have any breakdowns or clips in the ditches, which you unfortunately tied? Yeah. Um, Okay. Yeah. Okay. And if we can just make sure we let Jim know so that it, we send out the constant contact. So yeah. hopefully people will move cars. There's no guarantee, but they won't they won't move them for plows. But um the 4 a.m. inspections, do you guys also check street lights and path lights? Yeah. Okay, and then you report that back, do you? Yeah, okay. yeah. we have like we always do that. We've already done it once and I know Somebody called again about the one on Alexandria, the street light that built. Okay. I have sent, I Jim was copying on it, I've sent a, a work order in for it. But because Wix is doing that construction across the road, I don't think they're able to get in there to fix it. Right. But yeah, so okay. I have ordered shade for two lights to make it single. Okay. That we can't put any bulbs in until we get the shades. Okay. So, and there was one in um by the splash pad washroom yeah, that was out. That one's been broken for a long time. And all the guts. Oh, okay. Jim and I discussed that. So that's just a matter of how much money we have at the end of the year. Because new a new internal unit for all of that is going to be, I believe, in about uh, $2,500. Okay. okay. So okay. Well, that's a much bigger issue. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. But the 4 a.m. patrol that's is a great time to. Big an issue because of the street lights there. Yes. So yeah. 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 It's not within yeah. that section. Yeah. And the splash plaid change building is its own yeah, it's beacon of light. Cool. Anyways, yeah, yeah. Yeah, the 4 a.m. when we're not busy with that stuff, we tend to, that's what we do. We do street light surveys, other like things that we can do that don't make noise at that time. Right, yeah. 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 We can drive the pathway. We can I'm not on my street. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We could try. Yeah. Okay, thank you. Um, Mayor, no, oh, and you have new business, Mayor Hand. Just a couple questions. Yep. Um, I saw an article the other day about this new hot patching yeah. method in Sarnia. You're probably aware of it, right? I saw the article. But I don't, yeah. do we do a lot of that kind of? We don't do hot patching. I mean, yeah. that, that, like, if you look at what they said, their yearly, their payoff is, it's a three year payoff. So here we do like a 15 year. Yeah. Like, okay. Like, like we don't have the pot hole for yeah, yeah, I didn't think so. We've upgraded the stuff that we use, which is supposed to be a lot better, and you'll see over time that it is better. Like the material you use? Yes. Okay. We've upgraded the material we're using now, which is supposed to stay better in the winter times and stuff. So we're hoping that that'll be worth it. Sarnia has been using it for a while. They loaned us a couple of buckets of it last year, and it seemed to hold up better. So we ordered a half a suit of it this year. Yeah, that's great. It's a fair bit more money, but yeah. if it but stays if it... in the hole, it'll be a lot better. Yeah, it's got to pay off. Yeah. Also on that, I I would think that if we had a street that became pothole ridden, we might be able to rent that hot box from yeah, Sarnia. Yeah, yeah. 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 The streets aren't that long. Yeah. So yeah. We but I mean, if we had a Larry, we could oh, probably they yeah. hire them to come in and do it or whatever. Yeah. Yeah. Or we could hire yeah. or or, or a private contractor. Yeah, yeah. I know we haven't been able to pay the street for a while, but yeah. we used to do at least a street a year back in the day. Right? Yeah. So, yeah. There's probably a couple streets that we're going to have to put on the list for capital eventually here, but you know, luckily we don't run into that. We're on our potholes pretty quick, though, right? like, so they never get to the point where yeah. they work hard. Yep. The other thing I just wanted to mention, um, preparations for, we have two activities coming up, and so Christmas in the Village, yep. December 2nd. Yep. So... Do you know when the lights are going up on the poles? We don't know for sure. We're hoping we were depending on the weather this week. We're, we've got a lot of health and safety stuff this week, unfortunately. So that kind of, uh, but we discussed potentially Friday, but it's not really okay. before next week. Okay. So we've been testing the lights and getting everything ready in the shop. Yep. Um, so when we're ready to go, we'll hopefully be able to probably do like early start. It yeah, it's one at of five in the morning or something, and then hopefully we can have it done by eight. Uh, and I talked to Slash on October. We're going to string our extension cords on the pole by no later than November 20th. Perfect. Uh, I just had an we'll idea. We'll probably trying to throw all that. Okay. okay. I just yeah. had to get an idea because somebody asked me for the decorating. So we're holding off till. Yeah. I mean, later. they can decorate any time. Well, uh, they, they kind of wanted, like, some of our stuff goes on the pole. Oh. So we're waiting for the lights that go on the pole. Oh. Well, oh. We don't put lights on the poles on the pathway. We just put extension cords. Sorry, right? Yeah. Okay. So we, we, but we're waiting for the extension cords before we put the lights up. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think they wrap the yeah. lake pole at the end of the cul-de-sac. 
we don't want like, those. We put it. No, no, the, the the residents do. Yeah, yeah, they, yeah. yeah. They yeah. Tend to wrap the light pole. They usually do something at the dead end. Uh, yeah. So you get decorated because all you got to do is plug it. Yeah. Right. But we could put those up sooner. And not. We could go up and put those up today. If they come up. No, we're not. We're we're holding them like in my street anyway. We're not going to decorate for another week. Yeah. So that, that, um, that that literally like Mike and I could go out with a ladder and do that a couple hours. So. So the like light up the cul-de-sacs is the same day as Christmas in the village. So Christmas in the village goes from eleven to four, or eleven to three. Three. Sasha's saying that today you guys are hoping to light up. And no, I'm sorry. Friday night is light up the cul-de-sac. It's the night before. Okay. Then it's Christmas in the village, and then that night is the Santa Claus parade. That's the I totally agree. That, yeah, that's why I said the twentieth and second. Yeah, that's ten days, two weeks. Prior. Yeah, um, yeah, that's perfect. I just but, wanted to yeah. mention that. Yeah, Sasha didn't come over. Okay, uh, well, she's so, on the phone. So I said that to report her as that's the last. Okay. We may come up before that. But. Perfect. Thank you. That's those were my questions. Hey, the only other thing oh, I had was um. Sorry. Yep. Were we gonna do Rocky the Snake in in ops? up to you sorry yeah we can okay. yeah yeah this is where we yeah i'm gonna bring it up so this will go to council to the next council meeting but i was approached by the, the lady that runs rocky the snake um so uh the rocks are staying there for the winter at the log plant we're not covering it up as it was going to cost eighteen thousand dollars and that was voted down by by the laws plant to cover it with rocks and polyethylene but what they want to do is extend into point Edward next year so i'm bringing it forward to our discussing it here um so it would be the same way as it is along laws where it's on the other side of the gravel where they it's actually on the gravel on the gravel right the gravel. but yeah. they want to be able to come down to come around into the point down as far as the um span because they're I don't see that causing nothing to be honest as long as they're not in the grass well the grass. we would give the same rules as laws did it was about not impeding the sidewalk and keeping things away from the and sidewalk and, we have that buffer right yeah, yeah we have that's what we were talking about really from an operation standpoint that's not going to affect us but we won't police it like if no one is going in the river that's yeah like we're not we won't be in charge of policing it right or any of that like, yeah you know like I'm not against it, but I also don't want to. Yeah. No, it's not, I'm not bringing it forward as work for our yes. group, but. Yeah. And um, then they have to know too, right? Like that's the thing. I, I'm not hopefully they're smart about me. Yeah. Right? It's, it's lots of little trip hazards and things go on there, right? I know people use that all the time. But. Well, I'm going to bring it forward at the next council meeting just to ensure all your council's all in agreement. But Greg and I had talked about it and thought it was good to talk to operations yeah, the laws today if you had any concerns. The snow and salt than yeah. our section. Yeah. Because our section will never get touched by other than the water fraction of our Yeah. Our, yeah. Our salt and snow. Yeah, we didn't reach there. Way. Okay. All right. Well, that's good to know. I just yeah. wanted to bring it up before we talk about it at council meeting. Okay. And then final, um, I did send an email to Steve, but um, Gary Cap and the Point Air Service Club were very appreciative of the work that we did once again for Remembrance Day, and they valued the partnership, and they said the park looked great, and yeah. so they were very happy. Yeah. So appreciate that. Yeah, a little extra time there. Sure. Yeah, and it was noticed, so that's it's always yeah, nice when. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so we'll uh, receive and file that report. Thank you, both uh, Derek and Mike and Steve. Just um, to note, so Gary sent me a note on the weekend that the wreaths were blowing around. There was a strong wind. Yeah. He said oh, yesterday. Okay. He's gathered them up, and I said I'd get it back to restore it downstairs okay. till so next we're, year. We're good to take the, uh, the rack down and wrap them. Yeah, okay. I would they, say they were down quicker than. Most well, someone said the next day all the wreaths were gone. Well, must have been amazing. well, they they were there the other day, but it was he said that they were really blowing around. I know last year, so he took, left yeah, yeah, I think we had to put him in the basement because we didn't want to stand out. Yeah, and we were hoping he'd want to get the other way, couple of them off that. Okay, I'll drive by there later yeah. and see. But There's he said he there. grabbed ours, so I'm going to get it back from him and put it downstairs. Yep. Pardon? Oh, he probably dropped it off already then. We had two actually, yeah. so yeah. I'll, I'll tell you what I think happened to our other one after the meeting. Okay. 
fading stop bar lines? Do you have a verbal report? So, yeah, just um, this, I think it was your yeah. last question at a recent meeting about this and um, ask you about it in discussion when Imran was here about um, getting rid of some of those lines that aren't there the way they're supposed to be. So just letting them fade. Um, I don't know if I talked with you about this, Steve, or not, but about putting that more permanent stuff on, but now is not the time to do that. So I think we'll put some money in a budget under the capital item to do that, some of that work next year. Yeah, and I, I know that um, the removal of a bunch of them, and I support that, it's the ones that, that need to be. Yeah, that that we should do that. Yeah. I do none of them. Yep. Okay. So that was, I took that. Yeah. As he's done some kind of research on these. Yeah. Yet now. We did ask. We said, yeah. like, you know, done this past couple of months. Yeah. Yet now municipalities seem to be going the other way. They're doing the stepladder crosswalks yeah, everywhere. And. Yeah. 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 So they took it in the onus of the crosswalks. So if you notice that you see the crossing guard, yeah. they have to watch. Yeah, yeah. And I don't know what's behind that. I don't so for capital, we're gonna get a report like a intersections you yeah. think we should do and then a budget to do them. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's my thought with this, you know, hopefully we have a candidate in here to do that job. But right. it's through paradigm, right? No, no, it doesn't be a whoever we hire to is the general manager. Okay, and the next one is Michigan Avenue parking. Um, you were asked to talk to Point Over Learning Center and see if they got a deal with Brand Hall. Right, so as I said earlier in the meeting, I've reached out, sent an email to the church and the Early Learning Center explaining what was going on. I got an email back from the Early Learning Center saying they would reach out to the church. That was probably about three weeks ago, roughly, that that email exchange happened. And then I followed up last week and asked if, if there had been any update, and I didn't get a response to that. So I'm not here. You know, that's where that discussion stands at this point. Okay. Um, I know the lady from the church had some concerns about providing parking because uh, there's people that do it now. Mm -hmm. But if church starts running on spots then they're a little bit concerned about liability if somebody were to get hit crossing the road would that be a liability for the church so right. uh, um that was just one of the comments that right. I made right. that so okay and then um well oh, sorry. sorry i think you should we need an answer from them like from the daycare i don't understand why they couldn't have been called back and said this is what what's happened so that we can close off on this. Um, I mean, I can reach out. I mean, we can't demand any. No, well, I mean, it's a they, courtesy. Yeah, well, fair enough. I yeah. So if we can t table this again, it comes up in January. January's meeting then, right? Because we don't the committee doesn't yeah. meet in December. Right. It can come to council if we have an answer, because mm -hmm. I think this decision will be a council decision, so, okay? Okay. So further direction to... So if you get the answer, it could come again. up to the next meeting. Yeah, yeah. Okay. 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 Um, next one was Arena Operations on Stat Holidays. Um, I thank you for the report, Derek. It was well done. Um, my only comment is regarding the recommendation. Um, I would just like to make it less restrictive and to say that um, that Point Edward Memorial Arena continue to operate on the statutory holidays that it currently operates, and that usage of the arena be monitored on a yearly basis for those statutory holidays, and staff be given the discretion to close should uh, bookings be down. So any statutory holiday throughout the year, if, if the bookings aren't there, then Derek has the go-ahead to... Uh, the authority to to close or yeah. whatever, right? Like rather than just limit it to Thanksgiving Monday. I'm saying if there's a okay. if you know and you, you already do it for Easter, right? Yeah, Easter Good Friday Easter is Yeah. 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 So, so I didn't say Derek, I mean you two and 
together. But he would call and say, listen, I got no bookings for um, Easter su or whatever holiday, Boxing yeah, Day. The numbers for the call on yeah. Thursday. Yeah, then rather than pay overtime and, and have staff come in on their on a staff holiday. So the motion that's here, you just want to remove the the restrictiveness of Thanksgiving Monday okay. and just say that um any holiday. The money releases for statutory holidays, giving the discretion of the Verena staff closure on a statutory holiday if there are not enough rentals to warrant open. Okay. It. And so basically replace Thanksgiving Monday with statutory holiday. Right. Okay. And then it's less restrictive. And then if if family day so for some reason nobody wants to rent the arena which i know is the opposite um but we could um do that so Fair enough. this makes it less i say less i know the thanksgiving monday is what drove the discussion but it's not the only statutory holidays mm -hmm. you okay with that yep. mary Ann? oh yeah. sorry yeah okay. yep. <laughs> you yep. too you're in on this as well okay so we'll recommend that to council Financial reports, any questions, comments, concerns? I had none. Okay, I didn't have any either. Any new business at all? The only one I was wondering about is um, the speed sign and what the status of that is. It's all set up. Um, <laughs> I sent an email to the supplier about, because it's the, um, yeah they're they're quite large and so attaching them to a wooden pole is going to be a little bit cumbersome so i reached out to the guy sent him an email to see if they have some kind of standalone device to hold it they have much smaller yeah and so we just we haven't put it up yet and the guy did get back to me and i just haven't had a chance to go back and look at the the information so, so, the, so why did we buy such a big one when i think during budget i remember talking about the little the little ones i don't that would be more portable yeah, and able to did not up. realize that like we bought what the guy recommended to us right. and i thought it was like and it's not we can't know. return it and take a restocking i haven't penalty. asked about that so i think i would rather see if it's that big and that cumbersome see if you'll take it back and even if we take a a re a 20 percent or mm -hmm. 15 percent restocking penalty and then buy the small more portable ones that my would, other concern with it, like I told you, is they're mounted in my pole. Right. Um, so I think that's something that we should at least reach out for permission. Mm -hmm. I think so, and I said, again, if we do use this, what we should be doing is buying three brackets and finding three spots in the bed where this can be for the brackets. So yeah, this yeah. This is not something you want to be under because these need to be lab tested. Right. Both, both the sign and the solar panel both have to have like secured brackets yes. on yeah. the bed. Yeah. So if you're going to go ahead with that unit, we should order, say, two extra sets of brackets and then find the yep. spaces in the village where we don't think we'll get complaints about the bright lights in the house because I found one spot in this unit that was hurt. But okay. it's, and I think it's something we need to see. Yeah. Yeah. That's it. These one, aren't just yeah. the street signs. Yeah. You know, yeah, and I know Blue Water Power don't like having st stuff attached to their poles, right? Because yeah. well, it because it, it compromises the integrity of the pole, makes it harder for them to climb and everything. So, yeah. I, I, I don't think they say no. No, no, I don't think they say no, but... I think that, I think... So yeah. Like, yeah. It's not like an apartment. They're not going to worry about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like 27-inch TV. <laughs> yeah 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 no. okay all right so in it, can we throw that on the task list then just so that we get an update in january i guess will be our next update so hopefully we can deal with it before that yeah yes and you did identify a somewhat acceptable location on michigan, michigan right? okay so we had somewhere to be admission by the store yep there's that empty lot. Yep. Yeah. There's a pole there. Right. So yeah. That would be a spot we could put it. Yep. Where it would be useful, but also not right out front of somebody's house. Yeah. Because and it's, it's going to be pretty bright. Yeah. And it's far enough away from um, Front Street. So if people will accelerate it and yeah, it'll see it as they're approaching. Yeah. Sort of, sort of the the, the downtown area. Yeah. Yeah. And it's got to be fairly high. Because you can't have people being in the Yeah. 
Yeah. Yeah. So stealing the TV. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Where's it currently set up at Public Works? Uh, we had it opened up. And yeah. Then we reboxed it. Okay. Now, so it's protected. So if we got it, you have to re like send it back or something. Yeah. It would just take some things from like the media or fair start on or something. Yeah. To deal with it. But we put it all back in the boxes so that we can get damaged. Yeah. Like it's stuck in there for now. Yeah, because if it's not going to work, it's, we, we yeah. should just okay. we should look at can we resolve this if it costs us a little bit of money. If you look online, if I look online at their yeah um, can you send that to to jim so jim knows what yeah, okay yeah what what oh yeah okay yeah yep so, yep so. i think even secret science would be a violation of other stuff like that. yeah i think so too yeah i've seen them at amo with their booth so Okay, any other uh, new business, Marion? No. no. Okay, so our next meeting will be. It oh, mean. yeah, we she, she we said, did that. Yeah, we did that. Okay. Yeah, yeah. We just ended up flipping back. We even got green check marks okay. already. Uh, next meeting is um, Tuesday, January the 9th in 2024 at 10 a.m. There'll be a new uh, chairperson, so I've enjoyed my time with you all. Who, who Who's the lucky contestant? I tell you after me i got a yeah. newspaper in my office it's my it's either it's not really a big deal <laughs> yeah. yeah it's one of four <laughs> three <laughs> one of three yeah right? i don't get oh, yeah right yeah. one of three yeah it's just a one term limit here we have on this so anyways thanks for all your help and uh it's been a good year and i appreciate uh the reports and all the feedback and it's been good so and we'll adjourn thank you thank you